Given Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu's recent comments on the two-state solution and the close of his campaign, can the U.S. continue to oppose Palestinian efforts to gain statehood through the United Nations? Well, uh, I had a chance to speak to Prime Minister Netanyahu yesterday, uh, congratulated his party on uh, its victory. Uh, I did indicate to him that we continue to believe that a two-state solution is the only way for the long-term security of Israel if it wants to stay both a Jewish state and democratic. Uh, and uh, I indicated to him that uh, given his statements prior to the election, uh, it is going to be hard to find a path where people uh, are seriously uh, believing that negotiations are possible. So uh, we're evaluating uh, what's taking place. Uh, I think uh, Pr uh, Prime Minister Netanyahu still has to form a government. We'll be in close consultation with them. We're going to make sure, uh, regardless of disagreements we have on policy, that our military and intelligence cooperation to keep the Israeli people safe continues. Uh, and that cooperation also helps the American people stay safe. But we are going to continue to insist that from our point of view, the status quo is unsustainable. And that while taking into complete account Israel's security, uh, we can't just uh, in perpetuity maintain the status quo, expand settlements. That's not a recipe. For, is, uh, for stability in the region. Is there any reason at this point to believe that he's serious about a Palestinian state? Uh, well, we take him at his word when he said that uh, it wouldn't happen during his uh, prime ministership. And so uh, that's why we've got to evaluate uh, what other uh, options are available to make sure that we don't see uh, a chaotic situation in the region. And what was your reaction to his warning on election day about Arab voters, quote, heading to the polls in droves? We indicated uh, that that kind of rhetoric was contrary to uh, what is the best of Israel's traditions. I mean, uh, that uh, although Israel was founded based on the historic Jewish homeland and uh, the need to have uh, a Jewish homeland, uh, Israeli democracy has been premised on everybody in the country being treated equally and fairly. And uh, I think that that is what's best about Israeli democracy. Uh, if, if that uh, is lost, uh, then I think that uh, not only uh, does it give ammunition to folks who don't, uh, don't believe in, in, uh, in a Jewish state, but it also, uh, I think, starts to erode yeah. um, uh, you know, the meaning of democracy. I mean, can you country. unring that bell, basically? Well, uh, I think that's probably a question better addressed to uh, the Prime Minister. That's our next sit down, obviously. Yeah. What impact do you think the Israeli elections are going to have on your ability to sell any Iranian nuclear agreement to both the American public and this Congress? I, I, I don't think it will have a significant impact. Obviously, there's significant skepticism uh, in uh, Israel generally about Iran, and understandably, Iran has made vile comments, uh, anti Semitic comments, comments about the destruction of Israel. Uh, it is precisely for that reason that even before I became president, I said Iran could not have a nuclear weapon. Uh, what is going to have an impact on whether we get uh, a deal done is, number one, is Iran prepared to show, to prove to the world that it is not developing a nuclear weapon? And can we verify that in an intrusive, consistent way? Uh, and frankly, they have not yet made uh, you know, the, the kind of concessions that are, I think, going to be needed for a final deal to get done. But they have moved, and, and so there's a, the, the possibility. Uh, and the other thing is going to be me being able to show not just the American people or the Israeli people, but the world, that in fact uh, we have mechanisms in place that will prevent Iran from having a nuclear weapon, uh, and that the deal that is made uh, not only is verifiable, but it also uh, makes it much less likely that Iran is able to break out than if we have no deal at all. Sure. And that's an argument that we're going to have to make if we have a deal. Sure. But we still got well, some more Well, that's my next do. question. So recent reports say that a draft is circulating, but there are other reports that says a sticking point remains over the pace of UN sanctions relief. Mm -hmm. So where do things stand now, and how firm are you on the idea that international sanctions relief must be phased out over time? There is no deal until 
Does everything is worked out. And uh, I think that uh, it's premature to suggest that there's a draft out there. What is true is, is that there has been movement from the Iranian side. Uh, we are consulting with the P5 plus one. Uh, negotiations have uh, broken for uh, a week because of uh, the Nowruz holidays uh, inside of Iran, uh, which gives time for us to make sure that uh, everybody within the P5 plus one is comfortable with uh, the current positions that are being taken. It allows them to consult. We'll be back in uh, a week. Our goal, though, is to get this done in a matter of weeks, not months.